Who gives this beautiful woman away to be married today? I do. All right. So Terry and Kevin have invited you guys here today to share with them in this joyous celebration of their love and desire to join their lives together in marriage. So we are here to rejoice and remember that it is love that leads us to our true destinations and to celebrate with Terry and Kevin on their arrival in love and respect at this altar. So we're here to celebrate the marriage of Terry and Kevin, um, to honor the beginning of their new life. So we're here to listen to love, maybe dance later if you want to, and to celebrate and to send them into their future with one outrageous, gigantic blessing. I don't think it's working. Thank it's you. <laughs> Let me get this out of my way. Can you guys hear me well enough? Yeah, yeah yes. my good loud? All right, fantastic. All right, so marriage is a special place. It's the sheltered environment in which we can endlessly explore ourselves in the presence of another and in which we can offer the possibility of true reflection of one another. So may the vision that Terry and Kevin have of one another be always informed by the radiant force that first brought them together. And we pray that as they move into the sacredness of marriage, that they will always hold one another in light of all light and in the love of all love. So here we go. Marriage symbolizes the ultimate intimacy between a man and a woman. Yet this closeness should not diminish, but strengthen the individuality of each partner. So I've always hated those shirts. You know, they got the groom and the bride, and it says, game over. Have you guys seen those? <laughs> no. Those are the worst shirts, all right? And it says, a marriage that lasts is one that always has a little more room to grow. It is out of the resonance between individuality and union that love, whose incredible strength <laughs> is equal only to its incredible fragility, is born and reborn. Marriage is a lifetime commitment which recognizes the negative as well as the positive aspects of life. Marriage's content is never predetermined. It is a living organism that reflects the continuous choices of the individuals involved. In marrying, we promise to love not only as we feel right now, but also as we intend to feel. True? True. True. <laughs> so in marriage, we, we say not only I love you today, but also I promise to love you tomorrow, the next day, and always. Love doesn't limit. Love brings with it the gift of freedom. Love teaches us to encourage the people we love, to make their own choices, to seek their own path and learn their lessons in their own way and in their own time. Love also teaches us to share our feelings and thoughts with each other about those choices. We can then make decisions openly and freely through our love that allows both to grow. A love that restrains is no love at all. To restrain another in the name of love doesn't create love, it creates restraint. Love means each person is free to follow his or her own heart. If we truly love, our choices will naturally and freely serve that love very well. I know that the hearts of Terry and Kevin have chosen to follow Jesus. It is what unites them. Oftentimes, people think that a life of following Jesus comes with restraints. People assume that it is about what to do and what not to do, but it is so much more than that. We just heard that love gives freedom. The scriptures teach that God is love and that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Therefore, following Christ is not about rules. It's about a continuous desire to hear to experience and to feel God's presence, His voice and leading. We seek this out because God's love for us is so huge and we know that He wants the very best for our lives. It can be difficult to explain unless you've experienced the sheer joy of listening for God's Spirit to lead you. But when you hear it and you follow, the joy is unbelievable. Since Kevin and Terry are very inspired by music, let me explain it like this. I mean, we heard Queen already, right? Okay. God is like a song. 
It's a beautiful composition with so many notes all playing in tune and in sync with one another. And I'm sure that there's been a time in your life where you've done something selfless for someone else or you've purchased a gift to give away for someone else with no expectation of any kind in return. And it feels incredible, does it not? It's because at that moment in time, you are in sync with God's song that is playing all around us. On the other side, we know the pain that comes with selfishness and anger and bitterness and envy and being judgmental. We know that during these times we feel miserable. It can take a toll on our health and everything else around us and all of our relationships are impacted because we are not playing in tune and in sync with God's song that's going on all around us. Terry and Kevin, although imperfect, and I have a list, a list of all of Kevin's sins, I haven't been keeping track of <laughs> Terry's, they've chosen to seek God out in their lives. They were united through prayer, following where God led them individually, which brought them both together to be unified as one in the love of Christ. So Terry and Kevin, you have declared your intention to make this venture of faith and love Realizing from, that from this time forward, your destinies will be interwoven of one design and your challenges and joys will be shared together. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Today you are making public before family and friends that the words, I love you, are a full commitment to yourselves, one to the other. Understanding that marriage is the convergence of your individual and joint destinies, as well as the greatest support for them. So, Kevin, do you choose to marry Terry and have her as your wife? I do. <laughs> I will. Terry, do you choose to marry Kevin and have him as your husband? I do. <laughs> All right, so, Terry, repeat after me. I choose you, Kevin. I choose you, Kevin. To be my husband from this time forward. To be my husband from this time forward. To love you and be faithful to you. To love you and be faithful to you. <laughs> to be a comfort in your life. To be a comfort in your life. <laughs> to nourish you. To nourish you. With my gentleness. With my oh, gentleness. <laughs> well, somewhat anyway. <laughs> to uphold you with my strength. <laughs> to uphold you with my strength. <laughs> to weigh the effects of the words I speak. To, to weigh, weigh the, the effects of the words I speak. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me lost. And of the things I do. And of the things I do. To never take you for granted. To never take you for granted. But always give thanks for your always presence. Always give thanks for your presence. I promise you this from my heart. I promise you this from my heart. With my soul. With my soul. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Kevin, repeat after me. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What Terry just said. <laughs> I choose you, Terry. I choose you, Terry. To be my wife from this time forward. To be my wife from this time forward. To love you and be faithful to you. To love you and be faithful to you. To be a comfort in your life. To be a comfort in your life. To nourish you with my gentleness. To nourish you with my gentleness. To uphold you with my strength. And uphold you with my strength. To weigh the effects of the words I speak. To weigh the effects of the words I speak. And of the things I do. <laughs> and the things that I do. To never take you for granted. To never take you for granted. But always give thanks for your presence. And always give thanks for your presence. I promise you this. I promise you this. From my heart and with my soul. And with my soul. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. <laughs> so do we have the rings handy? Excellent. So rings are made precious by our wearing them. The rings you exchange at your wedding are the most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to share your lives to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are, but also what you have created together. So Kevin, repeat after me and take your ring. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a constant reminder, and as a constant reminder that I have chosen you, I have chosen you above all others, above all others, to be the one to share my life, to be the one to share my life, 
to share my life. life. <laughs> Terry, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and as a constant reminder that I have chosen you above all others to be the one to share my life. So Terry and Kevin, you have pledged your love and commitment to each other before these witnesses. And may the spirit that lives in and around all of us fill your hearts and bless your lives. You may now kiss to seal this union, baby. You're here. And may you be blessed every step of your path. May you endlessly delight in one another. May you rest in the comfort of knowing that you have chosen through one another to serve the highest purpose of love. Depart in peace, recognizing that what you undertake together will bring you infinite joy. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you